All right, I kept you guys waiting long enough. This is finally my review, my first time reading PTSD Radio, the horror manga of the video that I made that made the author quit. Just to clarify, I believe it was only this series that he quit because of all the strange events that was happening to him. And if you want to see that video of the strange events that happened to this author, which made him quit writing the series, then I'm going to leave the link down below and it's somewhere in my videos if you scroll. Lastly, before I start the chapter review, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button and leave a like for me, guys. I would appreciate it. Thanks. PTSD Radio. So I'm going to do the first three chapters because these chapters are really short and really confusing to me as of now. So if you guys are an avid reader of PTSD Radio and understand what is going on, uh, just let me know if, if it's all like this. When I read the description for this series and it said it was a bunch of short stories, they were not lying because it really is short so far. Not even starting the chapter yet and already we got some nice artwork. I already like the creepy atmosphere he's trying to set up before reading. It looks like just a timer and it looks like an everyday object that you would use but now it's just mutated to something else. Something with blood and something with a face. Man, I hope I can uh, sleep properly after reading this chapter. I'm making this video at like 3 in the morning but let's get with it. We start the chapter with a bunch of jumbled up hair. Uh, I'm not sure what this has to do with anything else. Maybe I'll see later on. And then we got the artwork that I was just talking about, but in black and white. And the chapter begins with a little girl crying to her grandma. She's crying because her grandma's about to cut her hair and the little girl really doesn't want to cut her hair. But the grandma explains that the longer it grows, the more difficult it will be to deal with. And just, just bear with it because it'll be over soon. Oh wait, the hair in the beginning. I guess that's all the little girl's hair. But then it doesn't look like the little girl had this much hair. So at the same time, it might not be. I don't know. Okay, it's definitely not. Because look, it looks like this little girl doesn't even have much hair. Just look at this. The grandma goes on explaining she experienced this before. And by the time the little girl becomes an adult, there won't be any need for a haircut. So I'm kind of confused how this chapter ends and how it will correlate. And honestly, it wasn't even that scary, so we'll move on to the next chapter. Now we move on to two other new characters. Two guys this time. I just realized the first chapter, there wasn't any names. So I guess we're just calling them grandma and little girl for now. <laughs> I don't know if they'll come back later on or whatever. But we have two guys right above. They're pretty high and they're looking above from a great height. The two starts discussing why they're afraid of heights. And one of them just guesses that it's human instincts. And I guess I can agree with this guy. Like, I'm sure for most of us, most of us who are not daredevils, we look at things when we're really high up and we can just only think about the fact, damn, if I fall, it is over for me. That or it's going to be really fucking painful. So naturally, most of us are terrified. I know I was terrified when I went to an obstacle course one time with zip lining. I was high as hell on only the medium difficulty and I was terrified of falling. But I'm sidetracking. Also, can I point out something really cool that I just noticed right now? So for chapter one, it says 89.27 NHC. I'm not sure what NHC stands for, but in chapter two, it says 64.98 NHC. And it reminds me of radio stations, which I'm kind of starting to put together now. I know, I know, all right? I'm slow, but I'm just catching this now. So it's now it kind of makes sense why we just randomly go into these side stories, almost like we're flipping through channels on a radio. Back to the two guys discussing the conversation of human instincts and the fear of falling. The guy with the glasses says that he can almost somewhat feel something trying to pull him down. And that's why he's speaking of all this. This is why he's bringing up the topic of why we're afraid of heights. And we cut to our first creepy image. We see a bunch of hands below, almost like it's souls or some kind of demonic. Actually, hold up. That's a face. Yep, that's a fucking face. Didn't realize it till now. So yeah. It's oh yeah, there's there's definitely other heads in here. I can see like someone's hair over here. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I don't know if it's something possessing him or haunting him, or maybe he just has inside demons that he feels the need to jump. I have no idea. So on to chapter three. Chapter three, eighty nine point forty four NHC. Ever since I noticed that, now it's making me want to read those numbers out loud. So get used to it. <laughs> At the scene of a train, we cut over to one woman sitting down reading in some kind of newspaper or some book that she has. And as we can see here, her reflection is just fine. Until a moment later, she glances over and realizes it's a reflection of herself, I guess, but without any hair. 
I'd be concerned as hell like her too. I mean, if I see any other reflection besides my own, yeah, it, I'm breaking it. That's it. It'll be at that very moment where I somehow teach myself Hakai and just destroy whatever's in front of me. Oh, but this next part is interesting because it looks like that... Is this the same girl that was in chapter one but grown up now? Because after looking at the strange reflection, the reflection makes a different face than her own. And all of a sudden, her hair starts getting pulled from the seats. And her hair is pretty long compared to what it was before, but the grandmother was making the little girl cut her hair too. You would think it's some random person just trying to play a sick joke behind her. Holy fuck. And then we glance over to the reflection again, and it's just the most creepiest, demonic face that I can imagine right now. Like, this caught me off guard when I was reading it. Because up until now, it wasn't so bad. And I specifically remember seeing this image repeatedly whenever I looked up the series for PTSD radio. I'm not gonna lie, just seeing this alone, if you're reading at nighttime, like how I was reading it at nighttime, it's enough to make you just think for a second like, yo, what are my surroundings right now and am I okay right now? Because, <laughs> yo, what the f just look at this. No, but I seriously want to know if this is the same girl. I think this is the same girl and it's just her older right now, but I'm confused of why they would cut to different scenarios right now. Uh, are, are they even going to be saying names or... Is there going to be an actual story to follow or is it just all short stories? I'm kind of okay with the short stories, although this is one of the first I've seen for a manga. Can you tell I don't read a ton of manga? But this was pretty cool to read for the first three chapters. It definitely made me feel something by the time we got to the third chapter. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I'm down to make some more videos. Like and sub. And thanks. I'll see you guys on the next one.